Yo, what is up, everyone? Ian from Green Gengar here. Welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda: Waker HD. In the last episode, we did some stuff on the pirate ship, left Outset Island, and now we are here in the Forsaken Fortress to save our sister Errol. Now, I have a general idea of well, I know what we're supposed to be doing. So we are going to sneak past these searchlights, and we are going to attempt to take out all of the searchlights because there is a way to do that. But we're going to do this incredibly carefully because I really don't want to get caught and I'm, you guys are going to have to deal with my patience right now because that is really not going to be good. I think we should be fine though. Oh, okay. So yes, the first searchlight is up here. This is a part that really gave me trouble the first time around. Yeah, that's our ship. But... No, I already know it. Jesus is going to call us and tell us to do the searchlight. Okay, so yeah, there's an enemy right there, but there's these pots. Yeah, he knows me so... And we want to... I'm going to take out all the searchlights, even though that's you only actually need to do one. Oh, what? I'm trying to pick up the pot. Ah, oh, okay, thank you for breaking it, though. Ah, I'm forgetting the attack button. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, this is ridiculous now. You can't parry with these things! He just, he, I'll kill you! Jesus Christ, that was so annoying. The input didn't work for me. Okay, well, let's throw that, and now these search lights are off. We can go. We can. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Let's say we could go and take out that one, but I don't think that's an option. Also, there's a piece of heart in this area that we are going to want to collect. It's just pointing out. So there's a piece of heart in this area that we want to collect, and I'm going to keep an eye out for that. I think that's getting caught is the easiest way to find it. Oh, it's right here! Wow, the piece of heart is actually right here. So we, yep, that's it. And we, so we are going to grab the chest and get that piece of heart. Actually, I'm going to come, actually going to change my mind about that. I'm going to come back for it because we want to go turn off all the spotlights before going down there. And doing that. So, because trust me, that's not, if we go down there now, it's going to be a big hassle later. This is where you, I'm going to see if I can actually, a key button. I'm going to see if this is the way, if you get caught by the spotlights or by the goblins, then this is where they take you and you escape through that little hole. However, hopefully I won't be getting caught. But when I need to come back, I probably will on purpose. But yeah, it's actually pretty funny that we found this already. So I'm going to go through this door, though. I think we, I, turning off all the search lights makes it super easy because I, because as you guys know, I'm incredibly greedy when it comes to rupees, and I want to get all those on the courtyard. So I am going to try and get all the search lights turned off. And coming... Isn't there like some mini ones in here or something? Okay, let's actually be careful. There we go. What the heck? No! Bull! What the frick? I have that. I hate that mechanic. Okay, so now we're down here, and we really screwed things up now. And please don't let this. Yeah, like these guys, if they see you, then they'll catch you. Maybe I should let them catch me, actually, because we can grab the piece up. And the thing I'm nervous about is this rat. Those rats can break your barrel. I really screwed up. I don't know what it is about the mechanic, but it just drops me instead of swinging me at random times. Really me incredibly patient. If we have to. Is he just gonna patrol this area or is he gonna actually?
I'm trying to see. Oh my god, he's doing that like every three steps. That is really annoying. And he is walking around. This isn't gonna fly. This isn't gonna fly if you're gonna do that. Okay, but you're able to sneak away. Whoever, wait, I think there's... Where the heck are we? I'm so very lost. Please leave me alone. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so angry right now that we have to go through all this so early. You know what, I actually want you to catch me. Catch me, cause this isn't working. I, this is too early, I need to do everything first. Need to take out those searchlights. But yeah, this is how you escape when you get caught. I'm doing a horrible job. I actually don't like this place that much. Because it's really frustrating having to do all this. Like, it really, I really did think it was the first turn in the dungeon the first time I saw it. But yeah, the piece of heart is down there. We can grab it, but. Yep! Yeah! You see, I hate those ropes! And now we're doing this all over again. You're doing this all over again. Well, let's at least get the piece of heart. I really hate this place because I hate the swinging mechanic. I just, like, that was something that was so frustrating in the first game, and I really hope they fixed it. But nope, it's still just as annoying. Also, can I open this? The swinging mechanic is really crappy. Because it swings back and forth, and that makes, and that messes up the hitbox. And I don't, and I am not a fan of that. And I'm gonna let him catch me again so I can get back up there. Oh crap, I forgot that you, that you can actually run. So please, please don't miss the flipping rope. That's so frustrating. So this didn't get off to as good as a start as I would have liked. Ooh, a blue ruby. Like, this could have done gone much better. If I must say so myself, but it's alright. We'll get through this place, and I might cut at some points. But please, just let me get the rope. And then let me get through this area. Is actually can is there a search line I can take out? I'm trying to get a good look from the camera. No, actually you were good. Doesn't look like it. Oh crap, we're going the wrong way. Okay, whoopsie. Yeah, wait, so we need to still... That's searchlight, so we actually need to go this way to take out the other two searchlights. Which, yep, I knew it, one is right here. So yeah, I was almost about to go the wrong way. And I want to see which one is still out, because if this is the one that I think it is, then we should be fine afterwards. Okay, let's just... Oh, sweet! We just did it perfectly! Can I pick this up? Oh wait, we can use our shield. I forgot. We're just gonna do this. The way that doesn't work for you.
Are you dead? Thank you. This weapon's kind of cool. It's kind of like a big one, honestly. So this searchlight is down. The only searchlights that are left is the one that looks out onto the courtyard, which isn't that much of a problem, actually. Yeah, I'm taking out that one. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that searchlight too much. We always... Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so let's get through this area now. However, if we wanted to take it out, I believe... Nope, it's not right there. Okay, so let's continue on then. Now that we've done that, we are pretty much good. Those We took out the problematic searchlights. Oh, yes, we are really on... Oh, there's a ladder, thank God. I was gonna get so... No, I knew there was maybe one somewhere. Get away from me! That's bull! Are you kidding me? What the heck? I, I legit hate this place right now. I don't even know how to kill these things because I have no weapon. Oh, Jesus Christ, if they kill me. And I made it this far. I know I can get up there. The game just not letting me. This game, oh! Oh! I'm getting, I'm actually raging right now, because this is crap. Give me a weapon. Don't follow me around. Oh, I hate this place so much. This place is the bane of my existence. Thank you. And give me this chest. Good greed. Like, it's everything from the swinging mechanics to this crap and the having to be patient. Nothing makes me like this place. I can't wait when it's done for. And then doing it blind, oh, this is just brutal. However, if we can stay up high and take the easy way around, then we should be good. You've gotten through a lot of it, actually. And we're actually almost to where we need to be. I think, actually, I think if we wanted to, we can take out the last searchlight. I'm trying to look and see. Oh no, it's over there. We're good. I don't think, because that's not the one that we need to take out. There's two we have to take out. You don't need to take out all three. And like I said, this is the part. That's the easier way to get around to. We came on the easy side, but there's no barrel. Okay, there's barrels. If we get caught now, that will make me forever angry. <gasps> I was about to say, get the frick away, rat. And also, I'm not, I'm gonna be really patient. If these rats, that's what I'm really, really afraid of. That's happened to me before, where they knock your barrel away. terrifying thing of this game. Also, the torches are like a really good majority of their line of vision. Okay, go! Yes! We, we just did the hardest, we just got through all the difficult stuff. And we took out the searchlight, so it's not that much of a problem from here. We, we it is not that much of a problem from here, guys. Oh, I'm so relieved that, that we did that easily. Oh, I forgot there's more moblins. It's fine. He can still kind of see you, though. So don't. <sighs> okay, we're good. <sighs> yeah, there's lots of patience, but we're getting through this in a fairly quick manner, which I'm actually very appreciative of. 
Look at their flabby lips. I'm very appreciative that we have got this far very easily. I have had to play this place so many times that I wish I didn't have to. But I've memorized it pretty well. I guess I've played this game 20 times in baseline. So I'm pretty, I've learned to get better to memorize the layout of this place. He's going to turn around soon, so I got to not break it. That's pretty much his line of vision, but he can still, like, see me. Like, he can still see me from far away. I don't know what the heck their vision sight is, but now I'm at pretty much safe. And you see, there, was a there would be a searchlight that goes on over here. Mm -hmm. And that's why you need to take out those two. Okay, let's see. Now there'd be searchlight that'd be going over this area, and that would that's why we'd have to take out those two. But we took out those two without so we, and the third one just goes over the courtyard and we can ignore those rubies. In all honesty. Wait, does this no it doesn't. Oh, hearts! <gasps> I just saw my life flash before my eyes just now. That scared the daylights out of me. That scared the living daylights. What if we fell all the way down there, guys? I'd probably give up. <laughs> I wouldn't. But seriously, though, that's terrifying. That is just terrifying. Okay, but we are finishing up now. Yeah, I'm, this is why it helps to be so good at this game and know what I'm doing. Let's get our sword, though. Oh, you jag. Nope, you're dead. Troy got a bits. Okay, so now we can go in. and see what's up. Yeah, we got through that fairly quickly. Um, usually, like, I'm, I'm, once you memorize this place, oh, whoops, this, then doing this isn't that hard, like, once you've done it a couple times and you know where to go, and you have the patience, but I, but I can imagine this, this is gonna be much more troublesome now. And yes, we hear a noise. Oh, crap, the Helmrock King is back. We actually don't learn this guy's name until we actually fight this bird, which won't be for a while. And he... When I, I thought he... I, you'd think he would, like, eat us. And he takes us away somewhere. I didn't even know where. Oh my, there he is. He like flicks his neck and then he just like tosses like, now that's scary. That is terrifying, I mean, good grief. But something picks us up, though. Link. Link. Wake up, Link. Pull yourself together, Link. Yeah, what? Well, have you come to your senses yet? Yeah, I'm still like, what the heck? That's creepy, y'all. You're surprisingly dull-witted. 
<laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that was only natural. As wide as the world is, I'm not. I'm the only bow upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lines. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Link. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I'm happy we survived. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him in the shadow that commands the monster's bird. His name is... Ganon. Oh, I, I thought they called... Like, I get so confused about whether you call Ganon or Ganondorf. Like, the way I see it, he should be called Ganondorf if he's in his humanoid-like form. And then, like, in Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, when he gets, like, 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 in Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess, and just examples like that, where he has forms where he's, like, a beast, then that's when he should be called Ganon. That's the way I see it, though. He who obtained the power of gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is a very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm, ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but I know the doubt that Gan has returned. The world is once again, I didn't read the rest of that. Tell me, Link, do you still wish to save your sister from him? Why well, just sitting there like, like a kid in kindergarten, like all around the rug when the teacher is talking? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in great power that you wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. That's actually been embarrassing for a minute, but I, although I have indeed a boat that possesses power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I brought you far to the east start of the gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. Sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. The island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during their endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and head them well. Remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Okay, we are going to go do that in the next episode. If you all enjoyed this episode of Wind Waker HD, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you all. Okay, I didn't need to do that. See you all on the next episode. Goodbye.